Hello guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of economics, we shall discuss planning in India. So what do you mean by a plan? Why do we need to plan? So can't we proceed without a plan? Yes, we can proceed, but the success rate in any field when we plan is higher than in a non-planned activity. Suppose to write an exam, I need to plan. To go to some movie, I need to plan. So when I plan effectively, the success rate in accomplishing the task is very higher. Okay. So first, what is planning? So planning is a prepared action to achieve desired goals. What is desired goal? Desired goal means what we want to achieve. Suppose I want to succeed in an examination. So I need to do a, the required planning to succeed in the examination. Suppose I want to go to some place. So that is my desired goal. So I need to do a prepared action to succeed in that accomplishing the task. So planning is a prepared action for accomplishing the desired goals or wanted goals. Okay. Next, then what is planning? Planning is done by various people in the various fields. It may be an individual, it may be a group or it may be a nation. Why do they plan? Because for their own development. So planning can be said that it is the minimum resources which are available for every country or any person in the country. So with that minimum resources, how effectively we utilize the minimum resources is nothing but planning. So planning is the maximum utilization of minimum resources. Why I am saying minimum resources? Because every country has minimum resources. All the countries doesn't have all the resources. So with that minimum resources available, either the individual or a group or a nation must plan for their own development. So that's why we need to plan for the success rate in as an individual or a group or a nation. So nation plans for its own development. Okay, clear with this? We shall move forward. And what is the history of planning in India? So first, before the five-year plans have started in India, there were some individual plans given by different people in India. So who are they? Either some of them are individuals and some of them given as a group. So we shall see what are they. So first is the important are the individual group plans. So first is Vishweshwaraya plan. And next is the National Planning Committee and next is Bombay plan and the next comes Gandhian plan and next is people's plan and next is Sarvodaya plan. These are all the individual or group plans given by some of the individuals in India. There was no organizational setup for planning in India. These were some of the individual plans. So first we shall discuss these individual plans then we shall move to the actual five-year plan process which were which was done by the planning commission national development council etc later we'll discuss the niti ayog also clear up to this so we shall move for the first one that is vishweshwaraya plan so who is vishweshwaraya vishweshwaraya is our moksha gundam vishweshwaraya he is an engineer by profession and also is a statesman of india we celebrate our engineers day on september 15th in india on his birthday. So he is famous through his works in India. Okay. As a civil engineer. Moving on. He has given a plan. He has put forth a 10 year plan. In the year 1934. And he mentioned this plan in, in the book. Planned Economy for India. So this 10 year plan was mentioned in his book. Planned Economy for India. So he mentioned in the year 1934. And the outlay of the plan is. 10 crores rupees 10 crores and the focus of the plan as is an engineer what will be his focus his focus will be obviously industrial development in India so if industries are developed in India the country will be developed as per moksha gundam vishweshwaraya clear with this clear about vishweshwaraya plan so moving on to the next plan that is national planning committee so this was a group set up by the Subhash Chandra Bose, who was the president of Indian National Congress at that time, INC, in the year 1938. 
Subhash Chandra Bose was the president of INC in the year 1938 and he has established this National Planning Committee. And moving on, it was headed by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. So the chairman of National Planning Committee was Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And this plan was unsuccessful because there was Second World War going in the world. So this plans, planning committee's reports were not kept out because of the turmoil in the world due to Second World War. So moving on to the next plan was Bombay plan. So why it is called Bombay means this plan was prepared at a place called Bombay, the present Mumbai in the year 1944. So who has prepared this plan? This plan was prepared by eight topmost industrialists like Tata, Birla, all those people who were top, eight topmost industrialists. They have prepared this plan. They, they gathered at the place called Bombay, the present Mumbai in 1944. And the, they have put forth the plan for a 15 year time period. Okay. And moving on, the outplay of the plan was 10,000 crore rupees. And what will be the focus? As they were industrialists, the focus was also the industrialists. But they have told all the sectors, but the industrialists was industries was given the topmost priority in India. So if industries are developed, as per them, the country will develop as per the Bombay plan. Clear with this? Moving on to the next plan, that is Gandhian plan. It was given by a person called Sriman Narayan Agarwal in the year 1944. Don't think that it was given by Mahatma Gandhi. It was given by Sriman Narayan Agarwal in the year 1944. So the outplay of the plan was 15,000 crores. The outplay of the plan was 3,500 crores. And what was the focus? Uh, what was the focus of Gandhi ji? Agriculture and small scale industries. So Gandhiji told that villages are the grassroots of democracy. So when the villages are developed, the country will develop as per Gandhiji. So that's why it is named as Gandhian plan. So developing agriculture and small scale industries will develop India as per Sriman Narayan Agarwal who has given Gandhian plan. Moving on to the next plan that is people's plan. It was given by a person called M.N. Roy, Manabendra Nath Roy. He has established the Communist Party in India in 1925. Okay? And he has given this plan in the year 1945. And the, it was for a 10 year time period and the outplay of the plan was 15,000 crores. Okay? Total plan expenditure was 15,000 crores for the people's plan and the focus was agriculture and others small industries and which were owned by the government. So the focus was agriculture and the industries which were owned by the government because people should be part of those industries. If private people own these industries, they may not be giving enough opportunities to the actual general people. So the agriculture and the state-owned industries development was the focus of the people's plan given by M.N. Roy. Moving on to the last individual plan, it was called as Sarvodaya plan. What do you mean by Sarvodaya? Sarvodaya means all-round development. So it was given by a person called Jay Prakash Narayan in the year 1950. Earlier these individual plans were given before independence. So this is the only individual plan given after independence in the year 1950. And the focus of the plan was all round development of the sectors. Instead of developing each sector either agriculture or industries, if I develop all the sectors like primary sector which includes agriculture, next is secondary sector which includes industries and next is tertiary sector which includes services so if i concentrate all the sectors the country will develop as a whole as per the sarvodaya plan given by j prakash narayan so this is about the history of planning in india we shall continue in the next sessions thank you so much